Hello, my beautiful darlings. My name is Simply Velka, and we're going to be getting into a pick a card, lovelies. So this is going to be for my singles. We're going to be getting into what it is you can be anticipating for your love life next, what's going to be coming. Maybe it's a soulmate. Maybe it's a twin flame. Darling, that's not what this pick a card is for, because that's up for you to fi be figuring out, not some tarot cards. But uh, yeah, we're going to be diving into this. I'm going to be showing you guys the piles, y'all. And then once you pick your pile, be sure to check out the chapters and the timestamps are always going to be linked down below so you can just get into your pile so baby let's just get into this all right my darling so let's get into this so this is going to be pile number one this is going to be pile number two this is going to be pile number three and darling i did not have a big old chunky boy of a heart so this is going to be pile number four with just a couple little skinny legend hearts so don't mind that when you pick your pile uh you could be resonating with more than one pile and that's more than okay it's none of my business darling which how many piles you feel called to darling i do suggest only one but who am i to tell you what to do it's your life it's your uh pick a card reading so meditate on this take a moment to take a breath let it go, darling. Pick your pile and then be sure to check out in the chapters below for your pile and we can get right into your juicy love reading, darling. All right, for my darlings that chose pile number one, let me show you these cards here. We have the beaver spirit coming in here with the full moon in Pisces stepping forward as well as the hermit card coming in, the queen of swords, and then the five of swords, darling. Let's get into this. Howdy, howdy, my beautiful, lovelies, and pile number one. Let's just get into your reading, shall we? So the first thing I want to be talking to y'all about is the number six for numerology. Now, I always suggest to people when numbers come forward to look up the number six and see how it correlates with you in the reading itself. But in with this card, it also talks about with the beaver spirit laying a solid foundation for y'all. So right off the bat, I feel as if whatever whoever is going to be stepping forward into your life, y'all, Getting, it's very much so it's giving me very much so stable uh very much so someone that's just consistent i do feel as if it's kind of been like a nice it'll be like a nice change of pace for some of y'all when it comes to this laying the foundation so i would be and we're very willing to put money on this that the next person coming forward to you very much so is going to be here to help build something for you when you think about beavers they're working together darling right to really now i'm all all i'm thinking about is the narnia beavers um but thinking about the beavers and it's all about investing into the home life consistently putting work into the home so definitely the next love life uh, the next love interest coming to you is definitely going to be I would be willing to say it's going to be a lot more long term for you guys. The full moon in Pisces stepping forward, balancing spirituality and practicality. This is definitely going to be someone who, again, is very much so stable energy. These two cards right here, these oracle cards, they share the same energy in terms of just that nice, stable. Um, again, I can't help but feel like it's a nice change of pace for some of you guys. I, I don't know if y'all just have had like a pretty like rot, like bad streak of luck when it comes to connections, love connections. But this one is definitely going to be uh something some a connection you won't have to really qu question too much about you're not gonna have to it's gonna break a lot of like your past issues if you do have like past trust issues or anything like that so that'll be fabulous for you darling uh i also see with this card here that this is going to be someone in terms of uh spirituality and your practices going to be a lot more in alignment with whatever it is that you believe in as well i mean obviously darling if you're receiving this reading here today honey you're receiving this message uh you, there's some level that you have if interest when it comes to tarot but it doesn't have to be just in terms of tarot you know if you're a christian you're going to be uh meeting someone who actually um is able to um at the very least respect your practices and i would be willing to say they have their own practices as well so definitely a person an individual who's going to be respecting your views um respecting your practices and all of that and uh, let's get into this with these tarot cards. Now, I am going to be pulling more tarot cards as we progress through this, right? Uh, with this Five of Swords, Queen of Swords, and this Hermit card, I completely forgot that I had these tarot cards for y'all. So this is confirming to me what I was saying before. This Five of Swords here, you guys definitely have not had a really good streak of luck when it could just, I would even say just when it comes to connections in general. I don't even feel like it has to deal with like love life. I feel as if for some of y'all, you guys have just been really, when it comes to family, like family, friendships, like it feels almost as if every single time that you start 
uh, getting comfortable with the situation or start feeling a little bit empowered, uh, it's almost as if like you quickly regret it or like those energies there that end up like betraying you, disappointing you. It's just, it's like every single time you get so close, so close, darling, to really feeling yourself, really feeling good, there's like this disempowering energy coming in here. So I see you as this Queen of Swords in this hermiting phase currently where you're just, I wouldn't be surprised if you guys are a little bit hardened when it comes to love, even though you're receiving this tarot reading here, darling, you're probably a little bit hardened to love, a little bit dealing, definitely I would say dealing with some trust issues, being used to people just screwing you over, really. So uh, let's get some tarot cards with this. I want to find out a little bit about this person. Let's see uh, what details, what juice, what gossip, darling, we can get into with these cards here. Let's see. Be sure to look up that number six, though, for numerology. High Priestess card coming in here, Archangel Haniel. Now, if you're open to connecting to Archangels, Archangel Haniel would definitely be the one to... Um Bring this love closer to you. Uh, this card says, listen to your intuition, have patience, and consider carefully what you want before acting. Uh, I want to be pulling a couple more though before I start my babbling, darling. <laughs> we have the Nine of Air, Nine of Swords, expecting the worst, self-fulfilling prophecies, uh, sleepless nights. Yeah, darling, you guys are just in this place that I feel as if like... Even though you're receiving this reading, you're really hard into love. And this is why Six of Pentacles coming in here. Six of Pentacles, this card says gifts of, of money, time or effort, new career opportunities, receiving or paying off, receiving a loan or paying off debts. So I just like to read the bottom of the cards just for those that are curious about it. But right off the bat for you guys, I do just feel as if, uh, <laughs> I don't mean to be laughing at y'all's struggle or y'all's pain, but it just does feel as if, and again, I don't even feel like it just pertains to just love for y'all. I feel as if you guys just have had this constant theme of where no matter what a connection you start investing into there's just it feels almost as if you give a lot more than what you receive in the connection and so you probably have even gone in your head a little bit even with the high priestess there's this theme of like starting to just become a little bit more guarded um some of you guys may be feeling a little bit insecure in just how you are um you know for some of you guys you may feel like oh am i just like talk do i talk too much or you know internalizing why it is you might be having a bad streak of luck when it comes to love um and I just feel as if this love interest coming in for you guys is just like completely polar opposite from like any type of connection that you've had in the past. You may um, constantly have had like constant thoughts at any time with a connection, overthinking things and uh, over analyzing their behavior, being like, oh, well, maybe, uh, you know, you're just, it's almost like you're just, anytime when it comes to a connection nowadays, you don't trust people to actually just, um, speak their truth and actually uh be honest and mature with you you're used to having to just like think for them you're used to having to just like really it's almost like a trauma response really where you're just like over analyzing their body language how they send a text darling how um you know just everything you're over analyzing being like oh did i upset them did i do this did i do that darling very much so in your head when it comes to just connections so i really want to say when it comes to this next love interest coming for you guys in pal number one darlings um, it's going to be a little bit of a struggle, right? But I do feel as if this person is going to really break down this hard exterior that you have going on as the Queen of Swords, right? Uh, this is definitely going to be an individual that uh, kind of lets you know that it's going to be okay, that it's okay to open up. You don't have to be on guard. You don't have to be super protective of your soul. So, I mean, obviously you want to be protective of your soul, but like you don't have to be constantly stressing as if that uh, they're going to be hurting you. So we have the six of fire, six of wands coming in here. I like this a lot. Um, this shows showcases to me, even with this king of fire as well and queen of fire coming in. Come on, darlings. Come on. Divine counterparts right here. I'd be very much willing to say when it comes to this connection, y'all, this person is going to definitely be pursuing you. I would not be put it past them to be extremely extra. Especially with all this fire or wand energy in normal tarot, 
very much so giving me like an extroverted energy, someone who, when they see something that they like, they're going to be pursuing it. And so when you have the six of fire here, this usually is talking about you being noticed, really, uh, spotlight being put on you, y'all. And so this is a really fabulous setup for you guys. I do feel as if once this person sees you, they're going to be starting actively pursuing you. Gender obviously doesn't matter when it comes to the king and queen of wands, right? Um, but I do just get this sense of, um, one, we can't neglect just the divine counterpart, how it's just very much so meeting your match. A lot of similarities, just as I was saying with the uh, full moon in Pisces, where like I feel as if you guys would share like similar spiritual interests or practices or what have you. I feel like there's just this person in general is going to really understand you. Be very... Uh... Yeah, I would even say they'd be extremely patient with you, even as you unpack this, right? Um, trying to unpack, like, the pain that you've gone through and, like, that hard um, exterior that you have. So the only thing I do want to just give you guys a heads up about is you might be a little bit intimidated or like a little bit uh, overwhelmed by when they first start pursuing you because I do see them more so as the king of fire, the king of wands admittedly. And so you have to always be aware when it comes to the king of wands, this is an individual who uh, they lead with the vision. They're very much so like to take control of a situation. Uh, not to say that they are controlling, but it's especially if you are in like this hermiting phase which I see you guys in currently, um, having someone, some really uh, extroverted, rambunctious energy coming into your space, you, you know, I could see, easily see you coming in as the queen of swords and just being like, uh, 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 don't even come any closer, darling, right? So you do have to be careful when it comes to this love connection here, because even though I'm, ta I'm tapping into this energy, darling, this is not promised, you know, you could very easily push this off to the side, you could reject this if you are just initially turned off by their extroverted energy but here's the fabulous thing here you know it's very much so like that old school uh, I don't I wish I could name like a movie reference right now but it's like very much so like they're holding like the boom box outside your window trying to have you come outside and once you come outside once you just are like the queen of wands here the queen of fire that's when the fabulous starts, starts coming in for you. Now, with the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Fire, this is, I again, I see this as your energy, y'all. And the Queen of Wands, normal to row, she's the only individual in the wand suit where she doesn't, isn't protected by fire. So she is taking that risk, right? Because I do feel as if, like, you are, when it comes to this connection, you're going to be very much so, like, unsure about it. You're going to feel a little bit risky on it. But here's the thing. You got to risk it for the biscuit honey right and that's what makes love in itself just such a fabulous such a wonderful thing to be exploring for all of us to be exploring right because there's just so much risk involved when you're exuding these exuding your vulnerability and so i see you as this queen of like ev evolving from the queen of swords where you're sitting in your bedroom watching them you know holding up that boom box to you just be like come on now come on come on zerling come outside if you choose i see them really breaking down that exterior and coming and eventually having this queen of fire this queen of wands exposed where you uh very much so match their energy after the initial phase i really do just feel as if this individual is going to be getting you out of your shell i do feel as if um this individual is going to be it's going to be very much so a connection i feel for y'all of where each i feel as if you're going to just be shocked like it's going to be a continuous like um, each day that you connect with them is just very much so like you're taken off guard because you're just like, oh, wow, you're very different from what you're used to. But I feel like you like it a lot. You know, once you start playing with that fire, it's early. That's where like you start having a lot more fun. Um, so... I really like this for you guys. I feel as if this is pretty straight to the point. I don't feel like I need to really go too much deeper with this. The only thing I want to say is watch for this Queen of Swords energy here. Because especially with their King of Wands energy, I can very much so easily see a scenario where they start in, uh, coming forward to you. And because of how hardened you feel when it comes to connections, just because of how often you've been screwed over, really. Um, I see you almost being like, uh, you're too loud, too mm, not my type, whatever. Like, leave me alone, right? So that is the thing that I want to just give you guys a heads up about is where because of like how you're just so used to people hurting you, you could uh, 
ward off this love interest if they um when they first start pursuing you so definitely just be aware of that you guys but overall extremely fabulous this is going to be even though very much so rambunctious energetic ext extroverted energy here remember that this is definitely going to be an individual who you probably wouldn't even anticipate being very uh mature and very much so thinking about the future you might even look at them and be like ugh, they're just looking for a fling i ain't interested in that and no i just feel something very fabulous fabulous when it comes to this connection so definitely let me know how these cards resonate with you y'all um i do private personal readings if you'd like to have one with me on my website simplyvelka.com be sure to check out my social medias darling simply velka on tiktok twitter instagram and as i said before i also do weekly tarot readings and monthly readings for the zodiac signs and so definitely check out your zodiac reading as well and you can even check out um i would even strongly suggest checking out um fire signs as well be on the watch for your fire signs because i know like a leo leos recently have been having a lot of love coming in for them and so i wouldn't be surprised if they have leo in their chart so yeah i love you so much pile number one let me know how these cards resonate with you be sure to give this video a like and subscribe and i'll be connecting with you sometime in the near future hopefully bye all right my darling if you chose pile number two let me show you these cards we have the lizard spirit that stepped forward the full moon in sagittarius the empress card coming in here the tower card stepping forward as well as the eight of wands let's get into this all right my beautiful lovelies in pile number two let's get into your tarot messages the first thing i want to point out to you is this lizard spirit card coming in here now with this lizard spirit card it's number 11 for numerology i'm huge on numerology darlings and so i suggest to you to look up the number 11 for numerology and see how it might correlate with this reading um, as well but with this lizard spirit this card talks about uh dreaming the world into being right right dream the world into being yeah that's what i was like girl come on now <laughs> and so then we have this paired with the full moon in sagittarius looking at the bigger picture um i can't help but feel as if for you guys in pile number two your next love interest the person going to be coming forward to you guys is going to be based off of like some type of transition into your life right um and i'm not just saying that just because of those two cards right you look at the tower card here and the empress card as well as the of wands here um very much so like eight of wands represents movement y'all eight of wands represents movement the tower card is very much so destruction darling and this empress card coming in here as well is just like just like life experience i feel and so you have to go through that life experience um to really give birth to something right because when you think about the empress in herself it's a card of fertility but it doesn't have to just mean pregnancy darling right it does mean you know you, with unlike a normal pregnancy where it's just due to like nine months you pop out that baby honey in this situation i see the empress as whatever it is that you're trying to give birth to and in this situation this love life which i guess can now kind of start sounding weird um i feel as if this empress comes in and her the progression of what's being created inside her womb is through life experiences and that's what further develops this and so i really feel strongly for you guys and pal number two that your next love interest comes in primary i'm gonna be honest i feel like for 50 percent of you guys um i like to speak in percentages baby <laughs> for like 50 percent of you guys i feel as if once you like move living spaces living environments um moving states entirely i feel is where your next love interest comes in um if that is the case then you would already be planning on moving i do feel because i do feel as if this move is already in your head um when it comes to that drastic uh change for other of you guys uh i do feel as if this transition happens when it comes to like changing jobs or you know just something changing up in your life and it's through you changing something up in your life this person comes forward for you looking at the bigger picture and dream the world into being here um it's almost as if you guys have like this plan or yeah this plan for your life like where you envision yourself right maybe for some of you guys you're just like you know what i want to move to colorado i want to move to wherever i want to be doing this before uh something ha before you start developing your love life right or what have you it almost is as if like you guys have a vision board or you have this image in your mind of how you want your life to be and it's you know not even just pertaining to love but it's this sense of where how are we how can we put this y'all 
it's like you have this vision of yourself and like where you want to be at in your life and like 10 years down the road right whether it's with your career living you want to have some animals honey right all of that this is the direct message from spirit telling you guys to start building this future for yourself start uh putting this into re creating this into your physical reality at this time um, because it's through you putting starting to put these building blocks into your life or starting these building blocks for your life that's how this person comes in right now, now it's going to be different for everybody right if, obviously if you have a change of environment starting that's I mean, it's going to be a lot easier for that organic meeting some of you guys it's def like i just definitely feel like wherever you're changing in your life that's how this person comes in so whether it's in work life or what have you could even be just you dropping a decision like because i'm going to be honest for some of y'all taking this reading in i feel as if you're taking this reading in and you're in a relationship currently that you're already kind of checked out from honey not my business here i'm not here to scold you darling you'll have y'all have your reasons right i'm just a man reading some tarot cards with a fabulous hat darling and a i guess a wand <laughs> just for my hands to be playing with but I do feel as if some of you guys are like almost kind of craving this tower moment where you're just like, all right, well, uh, I don't want to like drop this relationship unless I see like you're coming into this reading. Be like, let me just dabble. Let me see how this love life is going to look like if I choose to let this go. So that's all, darling. Uh, let's get into some actual cards now. Let's get into this person. Let's see what kind of vibe I can get, darling. Let's see what... Uh, uh, what all I can get for for y'all when it comes to this. I'm very excited for y'all in pile number two because while well, I haven't done in-depth reading for everybody yet, all the piles, but I do obviously know the cards for each one, the starting cards, and I really feel as if you guys are the ones that are very much so like this person is going to share like a like a passion interest for some of you guys i can't help but, but feel as if some like my artistic ones are really honing in on pile number two where they want to have like the artistic endeavors coming in or have, sharing like their love interest sharing like that similar thing you know for example i like to use analogies oh i'm losing my voice honey i like to use analogies so for me like if i chose this reading i would want someone that's like um into tarot or something like that right you have the strength card coming in here, uh, the Leo card, but I don't like to really hone in on just that when it comes to general readings like this. Uh, Queen of Pentacles coming in here, as well as the Magician card coming in here as well. <sighs> yeah, so this is confirming to me this person is coming in during a trying time in your life. So again, this would be during your in that middle of a trend. You this person would be catching in the middle of this transition for you. Uh, this person would be coming in at some point. While it doesn't sound necessarily all that glamorous, this person, this love interest starts coming into your life when you're in the midst of a struggle. Coming in here, Queen of Pentacles, Magician card coming in. This person is definitely going to be very well off. Or at the very least, very much so not lazy. Very much so has wants to create a very... This person, just like how this uh, full moon in Sagittarius looking at the bigger picture and the lizard spirit coming in, bringing the world into being, this person has big dreams, big goals coming in here. And definitely financially related with this queen of pentacles. Um, so really, I feel like this person coming in here is going to be adding such value into your life um, in terms of just not only getting you out of a heavy place, a heavy situation, that you're currently in um but he's definitely uh, he or she obviously um or they darling they don't have to identify just with those two genders uh they are definitely going to be um someone that is definitely all about passion all about to be uh you know even when you first meet them they're gonna be they probably will be the one to ask you questions about like what do you want in your long term what do you hope like what are your hopes what are your dreams darling right um they're very much so goal oriented very much so wanting to accomplish things uh we have the knight of wands coming in here as well very passionate very very passionate but like it's almost as if this individual no matter what it is that they do they are going to be extremely passionate about it and they're going to be fully involved in that situation right like when you talk to them they're going to be full like full on eye contact baby full on eye contact and they're just going to be like whatever it is they do it's like nothing else in the world exists ten of cups coming in here darling 
very much so this person's um it's almost as if like because this person just is really focused on creating with so much in their life you're going to be meeting them at a time where they're just like all right like i'm creating all this life i'm have you know i have all these hopes i have all these dreams i'm surrounding myself in this abundance but they want to have they want to share this with somebody they want to really start building um not only just a family because the ten of cups does represent a family of course sterling but it's also about wanting to build like an empire really with somebody else and so that's why i do feel as if um you guys would share some type of passion i feel um and this is why i feel like yeah it's very interesting so definitely i feel as if my artists are really honing in for pile number two so let me know let me know if you're an artist and if you are let me know what art what your art is uh eight of wands in here as well following so really honing in this message of movement um i feel as if this person you both even i would even say are going to be meeting each other where you both are in the middle of some type of transition in your life um this person and definitely with this nine of uh, nine of cups here as well this person is very much so like i feel as if you're going to be meeting them um through like <sighs> man pile number two like I re this would just make it so much easier if i knew like what it is that you guys are doing but um i just feel i feel so strongly that like um if you're like taking like an art class like they end up coming in for the art class and like uh doing like a art piece with you or like a photographer like maybe you're like a model and they're like a photographer coming in and um it's just in that way does that make sense where it's just like you guys share the similar passion you guys intertwine in this way and it's through some type of expression hierophant coming in here so they're definitely this person coming in here is here to like whatever it like their next connection they're they're i'm gonna be honest here like with the hierophant this is very traditional energy so their their mind is on uh marriage straight up right they're not interested in wasting their time uh with little connections here because again as i was saying they're interested in creating an empire for themselves right um i do feel like on their side of things with this strength card um they might have recently gone over a breakup um when you meet them like i feel as if like the, in, but i don't even think it's gonna be like a situation where like it's like a drama thing it's almost as if like this person was in a connection and they're just like the connection just didn't work out based off of where they're just like oh you're not here for the long term um because again seven of pentacles as well showing up here showcases to me where it's like they're really just tired of feeding energy into things that are not for the long term they're tired of feeding energy into things with people that don't understand their passions that don't understand like what it is that they're trying to create in this world because and i'm like i'm getting kind of self-conscious in how i'm wording this because i don't want this to come off as this person just being all about just their work and all that um i just get this person just has a lot of aspirations in their life um you're definitely like this person if they're not going to come in already successful with their life like you're going to be meeting them and they're getting like you ask them about what they want to be doing and they have such big plans um like it just feels as if like they have just such a vision for their life and it's almost like didn't i even say that for you guys at the beginning you guys have such a vision for your life you have like a vision board i feel like they also have like a vision board as well um so i wouldn't be surprised if this is a connection where it goes relatively fast as well um so really you would know this person comes in because i feel as if this is going to be one of those things where it's like you both are going to just be saying oh, it's like finally someone that finally understands me um definitely a situation where they say it's like i feel like i've known you for all my life um but for my artist definitely you're going to be meeting another artist for sure if it's not like another artist you guys are going to be meeting each other like you both end up like moving into like a, the same apartment um or you both go into like this new job um together like you guys share some type of similarity some type of struggle or some type of in that way if that makes sense for you guys so i'm really excited with what uh this coming for you guys especially with the eight of wands coming in twice for y'all i feel as if you guys would arguably have like the connection like y'all's connection love connection come in the quickest out of all the piles so if you if you felt drawn to this pile you can just be sitting here laying back and be like all right darling um <laughs> you guys definitely got the quickest love reading here or the quickest coming love reading coming to you guys but that is the tarot reading that i have for you i hope you found this pick a card helpful y'all remember i do your i do weekly tarot readings for all the zodiac signs so be sure 
sure to check that out as well. Um, if you'd like to book a private personal reading with me, my website's simplyvelka.com. Be sure to follow my social medias, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, all that is being Simply Velka, honey. And hopefully I will be connecting with you sometime in the near future. I love you so much, pile number two. Bye. All right, darling, if you chose pile number three, let me show you these cards. We have the Wombat Spirit, the New Moon in Leo stepping forward, the Wheel of Fortune, the Ace of Cups, come on now, as well as the World card coming in here. Let's get into this. Hello, my beautiful lovelies in pile number three. Let's get into your tarot messages, y'all. So the first thing I want to talk about is your Wombat Spirit card that stepped forward for you. So this is, in, in terms of numerology, number four. So I always like to tell people to look up the, the number, yours being number four, obviously, to see how it correlates in this reading um, as well. And then also we had the new moon and Leo coming in for you. Confidence is the key to your success. And I'm just now realizing I didn't read off what was on the Wombat Spirit card, honey. Uh, this Wombat Spirit talks about being at home. And so this is an interesting message and pretty unique. It is unique, not pretty unique. It is unique uh, for y'all's pile in this regard in that I feel as if your next love interest is actually already around you um, due to this emphasis here. Um, for some, I would even say for, it's going to be for a small uh, a minority of people, but I almost feel as if this confidence is key. Uh, the, this person coming in for you guys, you already know this individual or you already had this desire for this individual, but you haven't bothered pursuing them or anything of that nature just because of your insecurity, honey. Even darling, we, we could have a whole nother video talk about insecurities, darling. So don't even feel as if I'm like chastising y'all, darling. I'm sitting <laughs> I'm sitting here in the same position as you, darling. Um, so <laughs> I can tell you this because I'm going through it honey but um so ridiculous i feel like for some of you guys you already know who this person is um you have this interest in this person but you choose not to pursue them because you're just like ah, um, they're out of my league or what have you for other people when you first initially see this individual again i feel it's going to be a situation where you tell yourselves like ah, they're not going to be interested in me what have you maybe you're not even being insecure maybe you're just like ah, they're definitely i'm not their type or what have you right um which if you have any type of self-deprecating nature honey get, we need to cut that Get out of that headspace, darling. That's not what you want going on. I just realized I just tongue popped right in front of this professional microphone. So hopefully it's not too loud, darling. <laughs> so um, the tarot cards that stepped forward as well. The world card coming in here. The ace of cups coming in here as well as that wheel of fortune honey right and so in this dynamic and as i even said at the beginning of this reading i don't feel as if it's a tarot reader's place to be talking about who is like a soulmate or a twin flame coming in or any of that because it's a very personal thing right and so especially in a general reading like everyone that's receiving pile number three is not going to have a soulmate or a twin flame connection like girl come on let's just be realistic here but with this ace of cups like all three of these cards i'm going to be honest here i feel as if there's some type of deep soul connection now it's up to you for you to define it but at the very least this is going to be a love connection that i feel like is very much so um i don't even know if this is a proper description that i would want to describe for this but it's very um explosive <laughs> now again i don't before you even get into it and you raise your eyebrows and you're just like whoa Val, i don't know if i want any type of explosive type of love coming into my life but this is very much so situation of where it's like when you see this person it's going to be y'all are gonna like you probably will start out as like friends or like best friends initially to be honest i feel like it's not going to be like an instant just being like boom boom like see each other in a relationship but i feel as if you guys are going to start engaging with one another and then it's just going to travel really quickly or progress really quickly into something even more fabulous and so when i say that it's explosive i feel as if it's like a situation of where emotions are kind of contained on both sides of the of uh, both sides of the party where you have like your own internal thing going on i feel as if the same person is going to be see feeling kind of a similar thing to you very much so like a mirroring thing going on here but um i i feel like there's just gonna be very 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 strong desire on both ends and so when you guys start that friendship it's gonna i feel like that's just gonna be for just to get over like the shyness honey initially and then it's just gonna like really progress into something major um i do feel as if with this person coming in here you guys are going to be 
it's almost as if you guys start something together. Like, um, I don't know if you guys just move into quickly together or something. It just is, uh, it, the, there's something that you guys like very quickly progress and like do together as like a team, as like a committed thing, right? To like signing a lease together as an example is what I feel for you guys. Um, with this world card here, that's why I kind of suspect this is where it's just like you guys, like, you guys just commit to each other like there's some type of action that like make you both realize that you guys are very much so serious about one another i'm looking for my wand honey i need something to play with as i'm talking to y'all um yeah i do feel as if you guys are going to be doing something that just shows on both sides of the spectrum or both 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 sides of y'all uh, where you realize one another is being like oh okay this person is really serious here um i can really trust this person right you already it feels very much so like you guys both go very all in very quickly um so that's what i mean by explosive energy is just like very much so just like once the emotions start trickling out honey it just is like poof. <laughs> if that makes sense uh, maybe i'm just scaring y'all off in pound number three but uh that's just i have to say what i feel honey i have to say what i feel so forgive me let's get some clarifying cards though let's get some more cards in regards to this um, but yeah, with that new moon in Leo, confidence is the key to your success. I really do feel strongly in repeating this message of that. I feel like some of you guys already have like an interest um, and you guys just need to pursue them. Yeah, baby, king of wands. Um, very much so like either you are this line or they are this line um, where it's just like very much so observing. And I feel like you both are just going to be holding back on a lot of your emotions initially. And that would be an, um, probably even how you guys could potentially miss each other as well, where it's just like it all is just kept internally four of cups here right um so it's just like the biggest thing to be worrying about when it comes to this connection because obviously this isn't promised i'm just tapping into the energy of things of what could be um the thing to be watching out for is like that dismissive behavior that you might have because it's very much so giving me that energy of where it's like both you guys just tell yourselves like oh the other person not interested in me and it's not worth it let me just not even bother right even though you both are feeling these emotions really strongly even though you both are like watching each other and like social media and all that the world card coming in the back of the deck again as well i really just feel like you guys just go really all in with one another um it's interesting eight of cups coming in here ace of pentacles coming in and then the page of pentacles coming in so this is an interesting message i want to look at this eight of cups five of wands so i'm gonna be honest here this person coming in here um they may have recently gone and out of a breakup in the time of you receiving this reading so when you do meet this person you're like this is gonna be someone that just had come out of a situation or just some at the very least if not a relationship just a lot of drama right this is someone that um definitely uh, emotionally detached from a situation here um, but with this Ace of Pentacles and Page of Pentacles coming in here, I do feel as if they're going to be the one extending communication out to you, right? You think about the Page of Pentacles, this individual is quite literally holding the Ace of Pentacles here. And so the Page of Pentacles represents that communication. Ace of Pentacles, it's like they identify you and they really just like, that's just like, they want that, right? They want to like embrace it. They want to connect with it dearly. It's almost as if like... <sighs> You know, they have to build up the courage for it, right? But free will, it can't, it's no promise of that. So you kind of have to do your part as well and show some type of interest or just make it known that you're looking or that you're seeing, uh, available as well. Summon of Swords here in the back of the deck here. Because I do feel as if on their side of things, like, um, it's almost as if they're going to be perceiving on your end that you don't want a relationship or that you're not interested in a relationship, um, even. Um, so interesting in that way. I feel I'm drawn to be pulling a couple more cards. We have the death card coming in here. So yeah, I, they're definitely going to be coming out of a situation, y'all. They're going to be coming out of a situation in the hermiting phase. And so um, definitely be watching out, you guys. Like, I say you guys as if they're receiving. I mean, maybe they're receiving this reading as well. Wouldn't that be fabulous, darling? Um, definitely be watching out for, like, you have to be, like, when you identify this person, even though I feel like they're going to be communicating to you, uh, pile number three, at the same time, like you have to just make yourself available 
right? And you, when they do pursue you, especially if you already know like they are just coming out of something, you might look at them and be like, oh, am I just being treated as a rebound, honey? Or what? maybe they're like stuck on this old situation here. Um, or like, you know, you might have some type of worry or distress and in just internally being like, well, um, especially what they might have come out of before 10 of cups here. They might have just come out of like a serious relationship or something that was extremely serious. And so one thing I do just want to preface to you guys is this connection it's gonna be something that like and i don't i already want to just like avoid how i say this because i don't want people to like ignore red flags but it's just like it's gonna just like this connection is just gonna be breaking all the rules it's gonna be breaking all the rules you know how people say it's just like oh like if someone just had like a year breakup it takes um a year or two for the them to get over it and all of that right um you know that rule is going to be broken when it comes to even you guys engaging in with, with one another right you might be breaking the rule and being like oh don't ever sign a lease with somebody don't move in with the person that you start to start talking to and i'm not telling you to do that darling either right <laughs> if you're having a terror man influencing what you'd be doing in your life like that then girl Come on now. But um, it feels almost as if like, it's very much so like those things where it's like everyone else watching you guys from afar, they're gonna be like, wow, these people are being crazy. They're being like irresponsible. But for you two, you guys just feel these emotions so strongly. You feel them so strongly and it's just like you both know what it is that you want you go through your like this person i would say very much so is like emotionally in tune with themselves very much so emotionally and uh developed so that's a good sign as well but it's like once the, you guys see each other you guys don't even and actually start engaging with one another you guys almost it's almost as if you guys both are just saying well what is like who are we trying to prove this to by taking it slow why do we need to take it slow if we know what it is that we want right and so the biggest hurdle that you guys are going to have to overcome is just stop mirroring each other and stop uh, both you guys needing to have that confidence in approaching one another as well right especially for some of you guys who might have that habit of like looking at their axes and comparing yourself to their exes cut that out girl cut that out right now right stop telling you might be telling yourself that you're not their type or what have you you need to just cut it out you need to just like the very least just because again with that page of pentacles just make it known that you're interested right make it known that you're interested make it known that you're looking darling um because they're going to be mirroring you they're going to be having their own internalization going on and so you want to make it as easy as possible for them to connect with you but they definitely are going to be the one pursuing you um at some some point or another but uh yeah girl that is the reading that i have for y'all dolls so uh, if you enjoyed this tarot reading let me know in the comments below be sure to give this video a like and subscribe i also do weekly tarot readings for all the zodiac signs lovely so be sure to check those out as well if you'd like to book a private personal reading with me my website simplyvelka.com darling uh next to my social medias tiktok twitter instagram all that darling just being simply velka but uh yeah i love you so much pal number three and good luck if you chose pal number four, let me get into your tarot cards. We have the dolphin spirit that stepped forward to you, the full moon that came forward, page of wands, six of wands, as well as the king of swords. Let's get into this, darling. Hello, my beautiful lovelies in pal number four. Let's get into your tarot reading, shall we? The first thing I want to talk about is the dolphin spirit that steps forward for you. This and that are true. Number two in numerology, and go ahead and look up the number two in numerology to see how it could correlate with your reading here today, darling. And so with this full moon surrender to the divine here, I feel like this is almost a message for you guys of where it's like, you guys, you guys out of all the piles in pile number four have like, it's interesting because it's like I, I mean, I well, admittedly, I only had like three chunky, as I said at the beginning, I only had three chunky boy hearts, but you guys got the two. Um, and so you guys have two following you in this. And I feel like the message for you guys is like, you guys have options, uh, pile number four. You guys have options for sure. Um, it's almost as if, and if you do have the options, like you have, like, you already know one of the options, I would say. You would know one of the options already and so i feel like it's the main message for you guys is where it's like 
getting out of your head a little bit and kind of, you know, you're receiving this love reading even here today and you're trying to find, like, maybe for some of you guys, you're trying to find the answer to uh, what is, like, your next love interest or trying to help make a decision for you and being like, oh, should I wait this out with this person or um, try to do something with this person or should I just look for someone new, right? And so that's just something I want to point out is that I feel like you guys will be having options when it comes to love. And that didn't come out for anybody, any of the other piles. And I just really appreciate just, like, the synchronicities now for y'all's pile and pile number four. Uh, we have here the Page of Wands, the Six of Wands, as well as the King of Swords here. So for you guys, when it comes to this connection, um, hmm, you guys definitely, you guys are definitely attractive at this time. Like, um, I don't know if you guys like started like sprucing up your skincare routine, honey. I don't know if y'all started like working out, honey. Um, I feel as if like you're really attracting a lot of people that are going to be wanting to pursue you. Page of Wands here, I feel as if, um, the way that you guys start introducing these love interests coming towards you guys is through you going through taking up a new opportunity. And so what I mean by this, right, in this time of that I'm recording this, this is in September, obviously time doesn't matter when it comes to the readings like this. Um, I feel like for some of you guys, like, you know, maybe you were invited out to do like a hay bale ride. Right, and maybe that you're just normally you're just like, girl, that's not for me, honey. Don't be inviting me to that. Why want to? Why would I want to sit on sit on some hay, honey? With this Gucci, no. <laughs> like I feel as if like this, like the interest starts coming in for you when you really get out of your element. Stop doing the things that you normally do, or at the very least, this person um, coming in is going to be while you're actively out doing something, right? Uh, so like going to the grocery store, what have you? And the fabulous thing with you guys here is that with this King of wands here king of wands king of swords here with the six of wands it's very much so like when they see you they're gonna have no problems pursuing and trying to have a connection and communicating with you so that's what's fabulous darling all you have to do is just show up to the party and uh, the party is gonna come up towards you right the interest of the people are gonna come up towards you and communicating towards you because with the six of wands this is like all about like the focus being on you like you're being noticed at this time y'all and so really at this time you like really all i would tell you guys is like spend that like again if you haven't already just spend that extra time doing your skincare do darling start um investing in terms of you even have the six of wands here in the back of this deck here so double the sense of where one the six of wands by definition talks about success and victory so that's just like in terms of love life it's just looking really fabulous ace of wands coming in here girl when it comes to love readings when it comes to social readings and the ace of wand steps forward i have to be honest y'all the ace of wands is very much so a lusty card <laughs> y'all's reading a pile number four like i love this so much like i was feeling a little bit self-conscious because of these tiny little hearts here i'm like oh i should have just picked up another heart chunky boy chunky boy heart before i did this reading but you guys like it's just y'all's reading is just so unique compared to all the other ones um y'all's is definitely like the most uh spicy really so uh, this person, like you really are just being seen as extremely attractive at this time. Um, so let's see here. Let's get some details on this person. Let's see what, what tea we can get with them. All right, these three cards wanted to come out. We have the Knight of, Pentacle, Knight of Pentacles stepping forward for you guys. The Four of Swords coming in here with the Ace of Pentacles coming in as well. I want to do one more Hierophant here as well. So this person here, this person here, I feel as if they they have not been in a relationship in some time. I'm going to be honest here. It feels very much so that they really put like love and all that to the side off to the back burner. And then they started putting a lot of their focus in terms of like building out their finances, building like or not if not finances, because Pentacles obviously does can does represent finances. But Pentacle is Earth energy and that it just adds stability. Right. And so with this four of swords here, it's almost as if like they experienced like heartbreak beforehand or some type of struggle that caused them to be like you know what let me just put love on you know it's not meant for me right now 
Girl, excuse my text. Um, so, <laughs> Ace of Pentacles, maybe that's my Knight of Pentacles, honey. Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles here, they really put their focus in terms of like building up their stability, right? In whatever way. So, maybe for some of them, they just wanted to like focus on their job. Uh, other people, I keep on getting like car. I don't know if like they have like their car broken down or what have you. Like, I keep being shown a car, which I didn't get shown anything for the other pile. So, it's really interesting that I'm being shown that as well. Regardless, this i don't feel like this person has been in a connection for quite some time so you can take comfort in the fact that when this person does come this is not going to be a situation where you're questioning being like oh is this like a playboy is this like a playgirl honey am i just about to be sitting here getting played no this is a person that would probably hasn't been in a relationship in a few years nine of wands the wounded warrior now i have to be i have to be careful in this because i don't want this to come off as this per individual coming off as broken because i don't feel like this person's coming off as like broken or like damaged goods darling it is this is a person that's gone through a lot of trials and tribulations which in my opinion is a fabulous thing to have in a person because this person is definitely exuding this sense of maturity they're not sheltered at all they've gone through life they've gone through struggle and they've put their focus in terms of building up their life Life. so their life is secure their life is steady here so when they're coming to you they're not going to be having like a bunch of debts that they need to be handling or they're not going to have they're not going to be coming with a bunch of baggage essentially right because even with this knight of pentacles here in this deck you see this individual just dropping all their baggage and like behind them right he's not they're not um picking it back up this individual and so like this person really is just going to be coming in here just to look like as clean of a slate that you could be asking for darling right um this is definitely someone that has like no um hidden motives this is just a person where it's just like they just were not about love not about um relationships for a long time but something about seeing with you and just obviously like you're attracting them deeply darling with that ace of wands like you're really attractive towards them um eight of cups coming in here with the hanged man uh, yeah, it's like you very much so get them out of this state of where they're very much so emotionally detached. That is something I do want to point out is that due to the fact that they aren't uh, necessarily all like haven't been in a relationship in some time, they might really not have like the normal social cues when it comes to like an actual relationship. So they may approach you awkwardly and try for initially for just like a friendship or something um, initially. Like I feel as if like when you when they first approach you, it's just going to be really awkward if that makes sense i don't know i know that's probably not something like most people want to hear when it comes to their love readings but i feel like um this person uh, is just going to be coming to you awkwardly maybe i mean we can just go into the the narrative darling where it's just like they feel awkward because of your fabulousness darling and they're just like just so stunned by your beauty not i'm not mocking you guys or anything but this person is just gonna they're going to be fumbling a lot. They're just going to be extremely nervous when they approach you. And I do feel like they're going to be approaching you because of that page of pentacles coming in as well. Um, coming in here. But yeah, like this person has not been in a relationship in a moment. Ten of pentacles. Oh, this is so beautiful. It's almost as if like, that, like they've built up their life. They've really... Um, are in a place in their life where they're extremely stable and they just want to share that with somebody and they want to share that something that stable life with you right the ten of pentacles you look at it it's all about that family life it's all about just like that nice home life like i'm gonna be honest here this is really probably not gonna be a person who's very much so how would i put this they're not a partier they're not all about they're not about like the club scene and all that this very much so gives me like home body energy and i feel like it's not to say that they're boring right but it's just like because they've just gone through so much chaos in their life beforehand um it feels like for them like what they just want out of life is just like nice easy stability they want to just have someone that they can come home to and just like sit at night watch some movies watch some netflix honey um and i feel like even inclined to say like this person like once you once you guys start engaging like i don't feel like it's almost as if like you're gonna be like their best friend and i know that's kind of ideal for most relationships obviously um all relationships you better get along with the person that you're um intimate with right but like this person's is very much so like their world is just like is they're gonna be very much so about you now, i don't want this to come off as obsessive right um knight of swords coming in here 
with the four of pentacles yeah it's not obsessive energy this is just very much so like this person is just very mature very just has gone through life and so when they see something that they want when they see something that they want to invest their energy into they're just going to be going all in and so i hope this doesn't scare some of you guys off right um but this is definitely going to be someone that's just very much so serious in terms of just like creating a life it's not going to be all about like uh how would I say this like they're just not here to play games they're gonna they're probably gonna just be very forward with you and just be like look this is how I am right I'm not gonna put up a facade I'm not gonna pretend as if I'm just like this extroverted like rambunctious person this is a person that likes to just sit at home at night eating some ordering in some uber eats honey on some postmates and just watching some netflix right i'm gonna be honest i'm getting very much so like a little bit of geeky energy but not <laughs> i mean i have to say what i have to say darling i'm a little bit geeky energy but in a very endearing way um girl i'm geek too so <laughs> girl please um but yeah pile number four y'all's reading is just so fabulous darling so um even though you guys chose a little miss tiny hearts here miss skinny legends y'all were actually the most interesting reading out of all the piles so yeah i love you guys so much i do weekly tarot zodiac readings for all the zodiac signs obviously uh so be sure to check those out as well if that is of interest to you if you'd like to book a private personal reading with me my website simplyvelka.com uh next to my social media is tiktok twitter instagram all that darling just being simply velka but uh yeah i love you so much pal number four good luck <laughs>